The first stage in a Z-plasty is to mark exactly where you wish to place your incisions. This gentleman has a band secondary to a laissez-faire technique to a BCC on the medial aspect of his lower lid. The first mark is on the crest of the band and then the Z is placed such that once the cuts are made the band will be softened and flattened. Whenever you inject local anaesthetic, your aim is to minimise the infiltration pain and to minimise bruising. Uh, to this end, I always recommend using a 30 gauge needle and injecting very, very slowly. The initial incisions are made through the skin and you just need to be careful to keep the blade perpendicular and follow the lines that you've uh, already chosen. Sometimes when cleaning the skin your marks can be rubbed off um, and if they're a little faint the best thing is simply to draw them on again. Normally you don't need to stop and cauterize for your initial incisions, especially for a small uh, Z-plasty, and you can just control the initial bleeding with the gauze. Spring scissors, then open up the small flaps. And this inevitably produces a little bit more bleeding. Again, you can generally continue. If your gauze can control the bleeding, it's easy to continue. But if the bleeding is compromising your view, it's always better to stop and cauterize. Both flaps need to be fully dissected. Once the initial dissection is done, the flaps will look as though they would close over each other. Um, but at this stage, in order to get a good result, you need to go a step further and undermine and release uh, a, a wider area than uh, the flaps would initially suggest and this will help the surrounding tissues uh, move to give a nice cosmetic end result. A little cautery then gives a nice clean position from which to suture. To suture the Z plasty, place the first two sutures at the uh, refashioned corners. I'm using a 6.0 Vicryl suture, although I typically still remove these at a week rather than leaving them to dissolve.
and with these two cardinal sutures in place the rest of the Z can be put back together with a running stitch. In order to get a good scar, the key thing is, as ever, to ensure good edge-to-edge -edge apposition along the entirety of the wound. At the end of the procedure, I place, place chloramphenicol ointment on the wound uh, and a pad, normally until the following morning.